three members have won it. They can definitely celebrate it. I wish I had, I wish I could give her my Kanye Cabana, but it's spilled all over my friggin' announce table. A complete mess. It smells like fruit and cognac and bananas. Anyways, I digress. Congratulations once again to Killer Kyle. All three members of the Shit Disturbers have won their championship. Well, you saw what happened earlier tonight. Macy and Payne retained their titles, but Killer Kyle got her title back tonight. Fantastic. They can finally party now. And a huge heartbreaking moment for Corporal Gina Carano as she had to watch the remaining of this match, getting herself eliminated from the contest. Alicia her, she, herself got herself counted out by pulling a risk. It was a high risk maneuver, but it was a very, very well done maneuver. That bolting splash, trying to connect with Melissa Coutier, and unfortunately, that did not happen. In the final two moments of the match or so, Killer Kyle and Melissa were fighting tooth and nail. But in the end, it was Killer Kyle wrapping the leg, forcing Melissa Coutier to forfeit herself, forfeit that championship match, and forfeit that, that championship belt. And now it is Killer Kyle now the new women's champion. Talk about a huge difference. Check this out, if you will, fans. We're going on to our 20-minute intermission, and I want you all to check out this video footage from last night. It's Amanda Nunes and Misha Tate for the, for the Women's Bantamweight Championship at UFC 200. Check out the festivities, if you will, while they go on intermission. Grab whatever you guys need to grab. You know, go for a smoke break, a toke break, a vape break. Whatever you guys need, go now. We're going on a mission, and I want you all to check out the festivities to what happened at UFC 200 last night. It was awesome, and especially the women's bantamweight championship match between Amanda Nunes and Misha Tate. Huge historic match, ending in submission. I will not tell you who won that match. Don't want to give you guys spoilers. Check this out if you will. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, in 20 minutes. It is the International War Car Schedule for one fall It is Tom Sever The American Pride Tom Sever Versus the Russian Enforcer Making his return To FPW In over 12 years 12, maybe 13, 14 years? I can't remember very well. But anyways, after, after a 14 year absent, the Russian Enforcer returns to in-ring action here at FEW Beach Blast 2016. Let's get down to ringside for what could possibly be a match not for the faint of heart. The following is a no disqualification match. Introducing first, weighing in at 297 pounds, the soldier. He's not just a soldier, Tony Chimmel. 
he is a Russian enforcer. Alien in the Soviet Union, the Russian enforcer was a member of the Lethal Enforcers with Mick Doom and Penta. I am sure, I am glory. And before this show even was broadcasted, backstage, outside the building, I should say, members of the Lethal Enforcers, Penta Alex and Nick Doom, chatting with the Russian Enforcer. They had, honestly, a Lethal Enforcers reunion. It was quite the sight to behold, fans. The Russian Enforcer, who hasn't been in the ring for over 12 to 14 years of entering activity from 1999 to 2002, the Russian Enforcer has been a major player in fantasy pro wrestling. Before everybody was in a thought, Russian Enforcer was a major, major deal. Ladies and gentlemen, this show has been brought to you by Cognac Cubana, the coldest drink north of Havana. It is Beach Blast 2016, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes the American pride, Tom Sever. And from Los Angeles, California, weighing 275 pounds, Tom For years, ladies and gentlemen, for over six years in this business, Tom Sever has been nothing more than a boil on everybody else's neck. He is so hard to beat. He is so difficult. He is so strategic. He is very, very strong, and he can get you at any point, any angle, kind of like a Kurt Angle. Seriously, he is a Kurt fucking Angle. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Russian Enforcer, hailing from Russia, versus Tom Sever from the good old U.S. of A. It's international warfare. International warfare, and it is now. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the size of the Russian Enforcer. Look how buffed he has been since his last time he ever entered an FPW ring. Of course, he was a lot much younger. We're talking about 14 years of inactivity. 14 years is a long time, Liz, and I was in high school. He was a major player back in back when I was in high school. And now I have been long since graduated, and I have not seen the Russian Enforcer since my senior year. That's how long it's been. And the Russian Enforcer here against Tom Sever, the Russian Enforcer was responsible of preventing Tom Sever from earning his achievement in being at least the FPW Gauntlet Champion. He's never held a championship belt ever. Six years in the company, Tom Sever has never won a, a single championship belt. And yet, even winning the gauntlet for the gold title is, is, a, is, is a, at least a small championship belt. Nothing major. No one stays a gauntlet champion for a very long time. No one ever does. And even Tom Sever came so effing close reaching to Pumpkin Escobar, the last competitor of the match, and then a video promo, the same video promo you just watched moments ago. Well, that's the same promo that the Russian enforcer used to distract everybody, not just Tom Sever, the entire FPW wrestling world, the championship committee, everyone. And I bet you even the viewers at home, wherever you are, worldwide, the Russian Enforcer made this much of an appearance. And this is going to be a fight, fans. This is going to be a match. My God. That Russian Mafia kick. There it is. Don't turn your back for a second there, Enforcer. 